Breaking the barrier of 10 minutes in the 3200 has been a goal of mine for the last two seasons. After running 10.08s a couple weeks ago in strong winds, and as you may have seen in the last video, I ran 436 in the 1600, I knew that I was capable of breaking 10. As the season was winding down and we were in our final three or so weeks, my opportunities were limited. So I traveled to Cedar Rapids, Iowa to race a 3200 and an open eight with the goal of breaking 10 in the 3200 and setting a new PR in the open eight. This meet was about two days prior to the Drake relays and in the 3200, I was about 30 seconds off of the qualifying time. So of course I wasn't going to be running at the Drake Relays. However, I was going to be racing at the Drake Relays, which is what this meet was dubbed by my friend Thomas McMillan when I was a freshman and we went to this meet for my first time. Because this meet is always the same week as the Drake Relays, and even though it is a JV meet, it's still fairly competitive. So Thomas would always say that it is the off-brand Drake Relays, like if you bought the Drake Relays off of Wish.com. With that said, let's begin. The last few 3200s that I've run have gone out a bit too fast. When I ran 1008, my first lap was 70, the leaders went through in 67, so that's a bit quick, and this race I really wanted to focus on getting out a little bit slower. I knew that it would set my race up much better, so I opened up the first lap in about 72 to 73 seconds, and my first mile ended up being 459. I was right on pace. However, I would need to stay at the pace that I had been running, which was about 75 seconds each lap. There were a few individuals that tried to go out with the leader, Eli Larson, shout out to him. So for those laps leading up to the mile, my goal was just to work myself back up to those people and eventually make the move and try to gain as much ground as possible on Eli, although I knew he was going to run much faster than me, his PR is about 20 or 30 seconds faster.
With one lap to go, I knew I would need to close fast. To run a sub 10, 3200, the split needed to be consistent at 2800 meters is 845. I came through in 848 to 849, so I would need about a 71 second last lap. So I put in a big surge and tried my best to kick it in from 400 meters out because I knew it would be close. I had him at 10 flat, 0.8. Official 10.01.18. 10.01 was my official time. And to be honest, it was a bit devastating to come so close to achieving a goal that I'd set for myself two seasons ago and I'd been working so hard for over the off season to come that close was a bit devastating it was still a seven second pr which i was happy about so it was a bit bittersweet and i still had an open eight left later that night First place boys for 100 meters from CPU with a mark of 11.28, Aaron Springer. In the open eight, my first lap was about 65 seconds, which was a bit slower than I was hoping for because I knew that almost all 800 meter PRs come from a positive split, sometimes of about two seconds. So I surged and tried to make the most out of that last lap to make sure that my positive split was not too high. My final lap ended up being 66 and I crossed the line in 211 for a four second PR. So that brings me to today's inquiry of the episode. What goal have you come the closest to achieving, but ultimately you just missed it? And did you end up achieving your goal later on? Let me know in the comments. To be honest, I've had a lot of experiences like this where I've come so close to achieving a goal that I'd set out for myself. Starting out with 8th grade track, my goal was to run a sub 5 1500 meter and I ran 501 and 502. I don't really remember, but I do remember that I never broke 5 in the 1500 in 8th grade. The next season, my freshman year, the distance had moved up to 1600 meters and again my goal was to break five i ran 504 and 502 and then in my last 1600 of the season i ran five flat 0.13 then during my junior year of cross country i had a pr of 17 flat in the 5k i didn't break 17 and then now this season 1001 in the 3200 so it's still cool to see how even though i didn't achieve those goals in the short term like my freshman year like my freshman year 1600 of sub 5 
I'm running much faster now than I was then. So it's always nice to look back and see. I opened up my first mile of that 3200 with a faster time than my freshman year PR, which is something that freshman year me wouldn't have been able to imagine at the time. I ended up getting another chance to attempt to run sub 10 in the 3200 about a week later at another JV meet, but I ended up running 10.04, and this was another disappointing race, but I was alone for the entirety of the race. Basically, from 100 meters in, I was on my own, so it was a time trial effort. And I'm not going to make a video about it just because I have so many other exciting videos on the way for all of you. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. It really helps a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. Run to the max. Goodbye.